getting an actual control option. And I expect to see this card in every single Reno lock deck. And I expect for there to at least be some Reno lock experiments, especially with Kazakus and Reno being together in the same expansion for a very brief amount of time. And if the Cabal is all about having single cards as kind of a theme for increasing their power, well then Abyssal Enforcer seems like a very strong fit in a one card of deck. In Arena, and it's kind of funny how Crip was given this card to review since he is an Arena expert. This card is really strong and it's common, so hey, Warlock's finally getting some love in there. This is a really good arena card. And you have the natural, the new set usually gets a additional boost in terms of card offerings, and this is common, so we, we praise our new Warlock Overlords in Arena. It's been so long that we've seen a good Warlock minion that I'm actually kind of speechless on this. I can't emphasize enough how good of a card this is. Hellfire, which is a good card, 4 mana, and then you have a 3 mana 6-6, six, six, which is an amazing card. And then you combine them together. This card is ridiculously good. The only question is, can you run 2 of since it costs 7? So yesterday, I went uh, 33 and 4. Let's see if I can keep it up. Let's go. So this video might upset you because I'm going to go through music I hate thanks to a suggestion on XYZ. Trigger warning, I'm probably going to crap on something you like. So I guess their album titles, we got it from here. Random capitalizations, thank you for your service. Obviously this person didn't do very well in school. First song on their album, I'll let their last song define them. Yeah, that sounds kind of crappy. Like someone choked on a penis for a week straight and then tried to rap on a mic. Here we have 57th and 9th by Sting. First song I can't stop thinking of. I'm guessing it's about you. I don't hate it, but Sting, you're like 90. Stop singing about love. It's just not hot thinking about your 90-year-old body banging someone. Long Live the Angels by Emily Sunday. Butchered the name, meant to. First song called Sella. I really hope that's not how you would spell seller. Are you being actively sexually violated while singing that song? I know, that's a harsh question. But it's the first question that came to my mind, and that says a lot about your song. And ask Sting if he's getting sexually violated when he was singing his song, so it's not like this is targeted. Next song, Breathing Underwater. What does that sound like, singing underwater? <laughs> Well, congratulations on sounding like singers from 30 years ago. Whitney Houston would be so proud. Ooh, it's Alicia's new album. Let's listen to the beginning. In the park, in Harlem, in the dark, I'm the musical to the Project Fables. This bitch loves the sound of her own voice, doesn't she? My voice is so smooth, listen to me rhyme about different things, cause I don't have time to be thinking about every day. Cause you're getting in my way, and I got all- Oh, the song's over. I talk so slow, the instrumental ran out. But here we go, the gospel. You know, she's a smart woman. She believes in magical fairies. <laughs> and you have nothing to say to the world, so you just say, oh, over and over again. Oh, someone doing blackface. Or is that a mask? Whatever, let's listen to me and your mama. So what you're saying is you're retarded. That's not, what? Here we go, The Voice. They've got to have a good song, right? We'll pick Did I Ever Love You. Did I ever need you? Did I ever find you? 
PTSD, you're reminding me of church. Oh my god, come down from the clouds and jerk off on my white boy face. Yeah, I remember that. All the people in the pews raising their hands up going, Please come on me, Jesus! I load your sperm on me! If you have that mentality and you're watching people sing to God, you'll see it. You will see them beg for Jesus' come. Simply Christmas. From Leslie exploiting religion and Christmas, Odom Jr. This song is bullshit and so is your life. Let's try the Christmas song. Everybody knows turkey and the mistletoe. Uh, no, not everybody knows the turkey. Because some people are vegans. Get a fucking life. Ooh, Enigma. I'm excited. Looks like they have the word feet a lot in their songs. They must have a foot fetish. Boom, that joke's for free. Listen to Amen Feet Aquilo. Oh, oh my god, how did he know someone out there was calling his name? Here we got Prohibition Part 3 by Burner and Be Real Dog. Oh cool, they have a song called F Boy. Hey, he said fake friends turn to bums overnight. God, that is so relatable. How about Freeway featuring Paul Wall? Oh, it's another stoner rapper who wishes that pot had a vagina so he could finally consummate their relationship. God, I hate people who smoke pot. It's not even so much that you smoke it, it's that you won't shut the fuck up about it. That pot is so cool, bro. Dewey, this is my life. I'm a fucking loser. Eat a dick. Thank you, Bruno Mars. Save me from the shitty music. Okay, you literally sound like the cartoon Tarzan soundtrack. You know, it's not that bad. Fine. Bruno Mars wins. Out of everyone we heard, he has the least shitty music. So that person who posted to Onision.xyz, now you know the music I hate. Because I'm such an important person, and that was a need-to-know thing. Only because I will it. I agree with this decision.
because I will it. Bind these mercenaries into our service. My soul is As I desire.
agree with this decision. Acceptable. 